Maryland, though, can get you. They are talented enough to beat you. Right out of the chute, they go right to Dickinson, and he's got two. Easy does it for Hunter Dickinson, who had 13 on 3-for-10 shooting last time out against Rutgers in a game they led in the second half. There's two for Dante Scott, who's been something of an enigma this year. I think the way they played, their energy, their effort, the defensive intensity they had, really good in the loss of Illinois. Hunter Dickinson right now is picking apart Maryland off the post trap. Here is Russell, the Rhode Island transfer. Ayala, the rescue at the sideline, and Eli Brooks took it away. Russell is back. It's one on two. And let's see. On the recovery, there's two. A guy that's really a threat to shoot. Not that Diabate can't make it, but he's only taken nine and has made three on the year. And you get three on the other end for Dante Scott. He is really skilled. Can get on the offensive glass. Lefty showing off the jumper. It's a little pick and pop. Oh, cross lane pass from Dickinson for Caleb Houston. Those interior passes are a lot harder than they look, too. You don't have much room, but Hunter Dickinson getting it done early. Here is Houston. He's got five. That's a block scoring and a foul. I mean, it's just been so much going on. Take away again for Michigan. Frankie Collins, 94 feet of Frankie Collins. Well, you let him play in the open court. They said we played harder than them, and that's a great compliment, but it also means we weren't good enough at basketball. Tonight, they've kept that energy, but the basketball has been there as well. Eli Brooks, the thread through for Diabate, who was all alone. A lot of history to rely on to prop up your confidence, I would assume. Outside of high school basketball games, look at how much attention Hunter Dickinson's drawing, and because of that... Brooks the five on the dive, Diabate, and a timeout, Danny Manning. Michigan has some zone for Maryland, which has not been a good shooting team this year. Scott in the middle of it, backing off against Dickinson to start his move, and Dante Scott beat him around the corner. He had a mismatch with Dickinson and drove him. All right, here's Hunter Dickinson again against Wahab. Oh, he spun move. left and torched him. All right, now he's going to face up and scan. Thought about the jump shot. Double comes from Martinez. Pass. On the skip. Houston for three. Wow. And this is a master class of read and react for a post player tonight. You'll see the double first possession of the second half, and then it doesn't come. Then the third one, it ends up. Big Ten, you have so many talented bigs, but they all do different things well. He starts the passing there, and now a block from Martinez. The reverse. Houston late shot clock. Dickinson just ripped it out of his left hand and put it up and in. He was 107-79. Ty Ty Watson goes for 28. And big game for LSU as well. Two teams that need a win. That Kentucky team looks like it might be scary in March. <laughs> yeah. You go under on him. He's been making shots in this league forever. And you know about making shots in the Big Ten forever. Scott for two. <laughs> This thing is far from over. It's going to be a blast to watch this race unfold over the next two months. More great vision from Dickinson and Brooks cans a third. Eli Brooks wide open in the corner. So what do you do? Play him straight up and, and make him score, I, I suppose. But mixed looks, I, I don't know. You're losing by 21. <laughs> That's right. That is a great way to put it. That's what it's been all night. Dickinson waiting for the double. Spinning baseline. Dickinson on the reverse for two. It's been a top shelf performance tonight for Hunter Dickinson. Maryland has been perfect on a halftime offensively. Ayala again scores. Shoulder to shoulder, can you bruise me before I bruise you, Lee? And a little finesse from the big guy. They're miscounting the shot clock intentionally. Big 10 fun from the crowd, Ayala. Got it for two. He has been nasty in the second. What this lineup can do for Michigan, Dickinson remains in. Williams, Bufkin off the bench. Devontae Jones, there's Dickinson again, and he just cashes in for more. Thank you for the encouragement. <laughs> As if you need it. Okay. Like I'm the only one on this crew. <laughs> Whistle, bucket. 
Julian Reese is a proud guy. He's a freshman big in the Big Ten, but he will go body to body against the dudes here. You have to understand, too, that this is a guy that's from the DMV and right at you. Fats Russell to the rim, and he missed it. And that was a big miss for Maryland. Brooks the lob on the back end. Goodness gracious, a flying Frankie for two. How did he catch that? The discipline there by Musa Diabate to stay down on every foot fake, every shot fake from Dante Scott. Dickinson rushed it and scored it. Dickinson able to knock down the 12-footer. Ayala taking matters in his own hands and Hunter Dickinson's right hand specifically. It's not the first time that uh, either of us has felt that way. I was just saying if Michigan gets this type of look, especially from Dickinson. Thanks. <laughs> Wahab against Dickinson. And he got it for two. That's the type of stuff we saw at Georgetown. Away from the team, protocols, etc. Didn't make the trip to Illinois. Scott on the drive, and he's met by Dickinson. And suddenly, there's just a lot of stuff going on around your players, and the games need to be the focus for your team. Doesn't mean it can't go back there, though. I mean, they have won big at Maryland. And... No, they have a lot of support and a lot of pride in that program, but it's right now, it's been a mess. I mean, it's just that's the type of teams you're going to be going against. Bufkin. Second chance. It's good. Ayala fading away. He's going to get his point because they're up 11 at the half and they give it away. It's it's about playing a full 40 minutes for them. You know, and they get off to a good start. Oh, Frankie into the blender. Dickinson one on one into the body of Wahab for two. One's got to take that face on. Usually when you're in the arena, you can feel those things coming. As a White Sox fan, his name is Daniel. He flagged me over before the game. And you saw me talking to them, and you said, I wonder why they wear cow outfits, right? Yes. Frankie Collins over the oh, shoulder man. for two. I like Chase Howard. Has settled into that point guard position. Frankie Collins has given you some, some positive minutes there as well. As we see Darren Falls get a bucket. You know, they, they just think that over the past couple years, they've been a group that you know what you're going to get from them. At times this year, they've struggled to guard the three. You know, they had that two-game stretch with UCF and, and Rutgers where they were just getting torched from the three-point line. Maryland being serenaded by the Maze Rage. Oh. Two and a foul for the Terps, still playing hard. Dockery will go to the free throw line. Late shot clock for Howard for three. Got it. That's the night in a nutshell for Michigan. How about the night for Hunter Dickinson, Rob?